they are so bad with anger. They have two emotional states in America, zero and a hundred. They either don't care whatsoever or they're like <laughs> losing their mind to the nth degree immediately. Dude, like there was a great outrage that happened when I was in America about a year and a half ago, two years ago, had nothing to do with politics. Almost destroyed the country. Does anybody know what it was? It was Beauty and the Beast. Do you know the movie Beauty and the Beast? They remade the movie with real actors and actresses. Everybody was excited. Instead of watching it as a cartoon, we get to see it with new, in a new perspective with real actors and actresses. Everybody was excited. Then the director gives an interview three weeks before the movie premieres, and he's like, by the way, one of the characters in the movie is now gay. And all of America was like, <laughs> like immediately to a hundred. There were protests. They went to the street to protest Disney. They went to the Walt Disney, the happiest place on earth. They were picketing it. They were trying to stop people from getting into the movie. There was so much outrage that I fully expected to watch the movie and for it to have the gayest orgy of men just banging in the most violent and visceral, but within the Disney spirit, of course, like within the spirit of the movie. You know, like, be our guest, be our guest, put your anus to the test, and then it's just like a wonderful moment for the entire family. You know, the teapot comes in, starts teabagging ever to be our guest, be our guest, just a wonderful moment that the family could enjoy. But no, I was so disappointed. I'm gonna reenact the entire gay scene that almost destroyed the United States of America. You guys ready for this? There were two characters. One's name is Gaston, and the other is Le Fou, right? At least they're the right characters. They chose French people. So you have these two characters. Hello, Frenchies. How you doing? At one point in the movie, Gaston and Le Fou, they hug one another, right? Normal hug, nothing to it. Plus, who are we to measure gayness of hugs when we hug each other like we're about to make love at the... Habib al I'm saying normal hug, right? No, by the way, if you've never seen two Emirati men greet each other, you've missed out on seeing the most gay experience of your fucking life. I have no... I was shocked. They, they approach one another. Dude, kissing on the lips would be better. They approach one another, they touch noses. They're like, what the fuck are you doing? I, literally grabbing him by the balls and squeezing would be less gay than going like, mm -hmm, and then continuing the conversation. Like you didn't just rub your nose against another man. So in this movie, Gaston and LeFou, they hug one another. Normal hug, nothing to it. No nose rubbing, nothing. They hug one another, and then Gaston pulls out of the hug. The duration of the hug has come to a natural end. LeFou, on the other hand, stays in the hug, nestled in the bosom of Gaston. So Gaston looks at him like, what, what the fuck are you doing? So LeFou's like, oh, my bad. That's the scene. That's the entire scene. And this is funny, I've done this joke all over, and a lot of people look at me kind of skeptically because they think as comedians we over-exaggerate things to get a punchline across, and they think maybe I'm, I'm trying to over-exaggerate how angry America was. There's an amazing marker in time for you to know just how angry America was, if you don't know. Go to the comments section for the trailer of the movie on YouTube. By the way, if you've never been to a YouTube comment section, it's a wonderful place. Just so positive and uplifting. Go to the YouTube comment section for the trailer for the movie. The top comment, last I checked was like three months ago, so it's probably much more, but last I checked, the top comment had over 482,000 likes. And it said, and I quote, the gay agenda is destroying the fabric of families in America. <laughs> Isn't that great? They're worried about the gay agenda. In a movie where a woman falls in love with a bison, you're worried about the gay agenda. She literally bangs a cow, and you're worried about the gay agenda? Like, what if the children get confused?
How will they know what a real marriage is supposed to look like? Dude, they're out of control. They're losing their temper over everything. They're not like us, man. We've gotten so angry for so long. If we're not angry, we feel like something is wrong. Because we got it under wraps, man. Over there, it's gotten out of hand. We respond to everything here with comedy. Over there, comedy is under attack. Like, you have comedians now with agendas. We're supposed to be comedians. We don't have an agenda. You know what our agenda is? The truth. We want to make you laugh. The only way you can make somebody laugh is if you say the truth. Otherwise, they're not going to laugh. That's, that's what our agenda is supposed to be. Right now, you've got comics in America with agendas. Nobody's dealing with the truth anymore. Right? Like, that country's become so obsessed with what should be, nobody deals with what is. And it happens in the comedy, like everybody's doing Trump jokes, right? I don't do political humor, so we're not going to go there. But everybody's doing Trump jokes, which is fine. But nobody talks anymore about like the heart to discuss things like the fact that Muslims voted for Donald Trump. How do you think he won Michigan? It happened. Dude, it happened. It really did. Look, some of their cousins are here. It happened. But nobody believes me there. In the second presidential debate between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, a Muslim woman stood up. She was Arab. She was veiled. She asked Hillary and Donald a question. Underneath her name, it said undecided. And I remember I was there. All of America was like undecided. How could she be undecided? Like it's, you couldn't fathom that it happened. But it happened. Dude, Muslims voted for Trump. Especially Muslims in America. Muslims in America are sick and tired of their relatives visiting from overseas, and here is a solution. Finally, somebody's looking out for the Muslims in America. It's like, we wanted you to come, but the orange man won, we are so sorry. <laughs>